Nation, how you guys feeling out there? I'm doing all right. I was just trying to relax. That's all I was trying to do. But I got emails, people telling me I need to check out these two racist-ass white girls who hate black people. What do you think about it, Kevin? How does it make you feel to listen to them talk about black people? Let me explain something to you. I couldn't listen to them. Why? Because they sound like idiots. You know what I'm saying? You know, not just what they were saying, but their voice. How that irritates me. Oh my gosh, Becky, like, I'm so stressed out. Because I have to check the mail. It bothers me so much. I, I can't do that. It sounds like they got fucking sugar water in their head instead of a brain or whatnot. But, um, I will say this. To the pudgy white girl who looked like Frosty the Snowman and the upcoming stripper. You know, you look like an upcoming stripper. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys, I can agree with you on some things, you know? Some things like, you know, there's black people out there who manipulate the system, who don't want shit in life, who don't think outside of the box, think somebody trying to hold them down. Rather have a pair of J's and some steak. Who gives a fuck about steak, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even compare the two. You sound like an idiot. But, um, yeah, you're right. But you're also wrong because it's not only black people who act like that. It's white people. It's Asians. It's definitely Cubans who do it too, Mexicans and every other race. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not our fault that you go to a school with a bunch of um, people like that. You know, you live in a rich white neighborhood. What the fuck are you doing going to a school like that? You know, with niggas who don't know how to act, who talk like Tyrone, Tyrone, all that. What, you know, that shit don't add up to me. You know what I'm saying? What it, what it sounds like is you was one of the rich white girls who wanted to, you know, experience the black experience. So you took your narrow ass to a black school and now you don't like it. That's what your ass get. Or either your ass live in the ghetto too and you mad because your next door neighbor get more food stamps than you. One of the two. You know what I'm saying? And your sidekick, she don't even belong. I don't even know what. Like, for real. You're like Sonic and she's like Tails. She's like irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, sweetheart, go read a book. Okay? You look nice as hell. You know what I'm saying? You look like you straighten up when you see black people. You can see a black guy with a time. You go, oh my gosh, is he going to rob me? No, no. Well, seriously, uh, like, okay. Uh, you look like one of them types. So, uh, I highly recommend people not to make videos if, you know, racist ass videos if they're not prepared to catch the heat because, you know, black people, <laughs> the niggas you talking about ain't got it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, you know, it's, I know black people who, who, who need to be in jail. You know what I'm saying? Who want to go to jail. They don't feel comfortable out more than six months at a time. That fifth month come around, they got to go back home for a couple years. They got to do something. So guess what? Splitting one of you females' wigs would be nothing to some crazy-ass people like that. And you said you in the South, too. See, I'm a Northern guy. You know, the Southern blacks is different from us. You know what I'm saying? But you must understand that not all black people are like that. You know what I'm saying? It's more of us out here positive than it is negative. It's just the media like to highlight the negative ones. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of us come from the ghettos, but we, we, we migrate out. You know, we get the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, just because you see rap videos and you see a bunch of black people in the videos acting crazy and shit, that don't make up for the whole black community. And all those people ain't even like that. You know, like, for real. Like, you females need to really, 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 you know, get around, meet people. Stop sitting in that rich-ass house you live in and making videos and shit. You need to get out, smell a coffee. You know, because... I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's other races just as corrupt as blacks. And black folks watching that video, who's mad? Why are you mad? Don't get mad. I'm definitely not mad because, A, they're not talking about me. And, B, it's just their opinion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, they is right about some of the shit. You know, they really is. You know, but for them to go voice their opinion like, you know, they're somebody special or something, I think that was pretty stupid. Because I think there might be a video where they might be saying they're sorry when people start hacking in their shit, threatening to kill them, finding out the information, even if it get that big. Or maybe these females are just like, want some attention. You know what I'm saying? Maybe their parents are just out doing who knows what. And they just want a few hugs or somebody to like, show them that they're relevant. And they would make a video like this. You know what I'm saying? Just like those Mex those girls who shit on the Mexicans. You know, I think they was just probably high off crystal meth. And um, decided to make the video, and once it airs and all the shit come their way, they're probably going to be apologizing. So, to you females, I wish the best of luck to you. Like, seriously, I'm not here to say I want anything bad to happen to you because it already did. You're confused. Like, seriously, you're clueless. You know, there's other shit to be mad about. 
You mad because black people, well, I'm not gonna say black people, the niggas you talking about sitting on welfare, doing this and doing that, how is it affecting you? You look like you don't fucking work a job. Because if you had a job, you wouldn't even be making them type of videos. You'd probably be somewhere trying to work or study and do your schoolwork or something like that. You know, you're not paying taxes, so shut the fuck up, okay? You know, like if it's going to be somebody racist and make a video like this, I want to see the educated white person who worked their ass off, work 100 hours a week, you know what I'm saying, paying taxes, donating to charity, one of the most positive people, if one of them explode, I'm like, okay, you know what, I mean, it's not right, but I can take it from one of them, but not two lousy ass girls who probably a goggle the first black balls that they see, you know what I'm saying, no, I'm not accepting that from them, I'm getting out of here, I'm finna go get me some rest, you know, in my comfortable ass bed, you know what I'm saying, watch my 60 inch in my nice white ass neighborhood, I'm out, deuces.